Hey, my name is Ashley and I'm literally in my AP Lang class. Super fun. So the first thing that we did was we worked on our warm-up, which we just have to type what our answer to that is in our Zoom like chat. And then we are working on a project and my teacher was just like talking about it. I don't even know what that is. Okay, then don't pick it. Again, don't pick something that you have to do a whole lot of background research on. So if you're not really sure about those things, then don't pick it. All of those things, okay? So again, I will still guide you through those things, but I need you to be in your slides. You have access to those slides. Okay, so our project is in all sides and I went into the breakout room to work on it with the people in my group and basically what we have to do is we pick a topic and then we go in all sides and we find a bunch of stories about it and you look at right, left, and center and you compare them just so you can see how different outlets will like use things differently to like help their agenda. Sure. I can take center. Wait, this is the one from February 8th, right? So this is like a horrible way to look at it. I don't know why I filmed like this, but it's basically my article that I was trying to show you. Okay, so this is the time that I really spent reading my article, and you always want to be like, is it opinionated? Does it have a bias? And I had the, I had a cent the center, so obviously it's not going to be as biased as the left or the right. So like mine in that sense was kind of easy to look at. And then the next part was kind of hard where she gives us, uh, we're on Google Slides, and she gives us like a list of questions, and we have to compare all of ours. But she gives us like time limits, and I don't know, about you like talking about it takes such a long time so we all just like typed our own answers so it would just be like easier that way to look at which sources you found the most information with and from. So again, I want to... And then my teacher was going over our synthesis essay, which we get to do right when I get back from spring break. Isn't that so fun, you guys? Literally Monday morning, first period. We love that. Um, yeah, I'm not excited. Uh, very stressed out about it, honestly, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous about that. <laughs> work, okay? These sources do not work the same way that you've had sources work for you in literature, where they take the place of what you are trying to say. So the passage that we were practicing on, I was basically putting in Good Notes. You guys know that's a notes app that I use, and it's really easy. You just click the plus button, and then you go to the little app icon, you click on Good Notes, and then that way it's automatically imported so you can write on it, and it saves paper, so that's great. You guys, we had a break, so I was practicing my French, and I was timing it because it needs to be under two minutes, but she prefers ones that are under a minute and 30 seconds to, like, make it concise, so I was just timing myself. I know this footage looks really strange, but it's basically her writing on, like, the dot cam on Zoom, and it's, like, how to view the prompt so you can, like, answer it properly. So I'm going to read this one to you. I'm then going to kick you out into your groups. You're going to look at the rubric and you're going to figure out what would you give it. The rubric I don't think is on our, or I don't have it in my drive. If you've opened it before, just go to your Google Drive and type in like rubric yeah. or something. That's how I find a lot of the stuff. I think it's like at least a two. When you look at the thesis point on the rubric, it just says, does it make an arguable claim? It does. Basically, then she went over it and gave us practice. And then this is me giving the awkward smile wave when I was leaving class. 21.406. Next, I had my pre cal class and we were just taking notes the whole time. It sucked. <laughs> going to do sine of 42 over 22. Go back to that angle side there. 
So my teacher just goes over the notes and you can ask questions in the chat and stuff. I actually really like that she does this. I, I don't know if this is like a black light or something, but she like does it to where the paper is black and she uses like erasable um, pens, I think, to like do our notes and it looks pretty cool. But yeah, um, not that fun. Just filling out notes. In those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah. I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Letters. You just want to find the one you want to use. I'm going to use F. Find the length of a side. You can't even see it yet. Then for the last part of class, she was going over our quiz in Delta Math and how uh, we were supposed to answer the problems and like what different problems that we had. It's due tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. Thank you. That's it. Okay, so it is 12.22. Work, and what I was working on partly during my pre-cal class was my French test that is actually due at 2 p.m. I thought it was due at 12, but it's due at 2, so I guess that's good. That's why I rewrote it. So what I did was I printed it out, and then I'm writing what it sounds like phonetically so it's easier for me to say during my test. So now I'm going to go downstairs and practice a little... So essentially I'm gonna read off the script. It is a speaking test, but we got like the prompt beforehand, thank gosh. And we have 15 minutes to like write it. Like this is a practice. We have 15 minutes to write it and speak it, which it won't be that difficult because she pretty much told us what it's about. I know that sounds really hard and honestly it kind of is. So I'm kind of scared. I thought it was due at noon because that's what she said, but she changed the timing to two. So I'm hoping it's at two since it's past 12 and I'm kind of freaking out as you can tell. So I'm going to practice this a few times and then I'm going to go ahead and start. <laughs> When my teacher was making like the submission thing on Canvas, she basically didn't put a place to like speak. She only put like the prompt. So I just sent her an email. Okay, this is what it looks like and it's like bonjour. I just <laughs> basically put it on Google Classroom because she made an option for that just in case this happened. So yeah, I'm going to send that email and I already submitted it through my phone on Google Classroom using voice memos. Finally done. I just kind of want to get it over with. It's 103. I have a test in fourth period. So that's not going to be fun. And it's the class starts at 120. So I have to like hurry up and have lunch in order to get to my next class. Okay, you guys, I'm in my Zoom class for U.S. History, and we have a test today, so he's talking about it, so I need to, like, pay attention one sec. No justification, so it's just traditional multiple choice. You pick your answer, um, and then there's going to be one SAQ. You only get one. There's no choice this time. It's the one that you get, so... Then he pretty much talked about the timing of the test. It was 45 minutes, multiple choice, and SAQ. And it's a three-part SAQ, so yeah. Okay, I have my teacher muted, which kind of sucks. Sorry, this is like crooked. I have my iPad out because it's open notes, so I can go to my notes. For, um, what's the app that I use? I literally forgot it. What's this app called? Good Notes. So I can pull up my notes on... Good notes, and I can use it. Even though I literally haven't finished one of the chapters, I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about that later. But yeah, it's an open note test, and I'm kind of stressed. You guys can see Grace Anatomy on the bottom, but yeah. So then my teacher went over last minute stuff, and I used to think like, oh, there are no dumb questions. The people in my class literally prove that wrong. They'll be like, is this important? Is this important? Like, you're so annoying. I'm sorry, but people like that drive me insane because he says it all the time. Volume up, so definitely reach out to me and, and I, I will help you in any way that I can. Okay, so there's my test. Oh wait, that's literally Wednesday, I'm not okay. Here is my test, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it and I'll see you guys after. Wish me luck, cause I've been stressed out all day cause I had like 30 things to do, but yeah, I'm procrastinating. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I just finished, and he still has to grade my SAQ. I texted my friend to ask how much it was worth, but I, like, forgot. And my back hurts so bad. I wish someone could just take my spine and just, like, straighten it, if that makes sense. Ugh. Okay, I... So we had chapter 25 notes that were due. Supposed to be due before the test. I, myself, and I had so much stuff going on, and I went to bed... Like, I fell asleep at, like, 5 o'clock yesterday, like, p.m. 
and I woke up early in the morning and then I went back to sleep so we love that um so basically I didn't get to finish them I'm gonna finish them today but since I took a test I'm gonna go ahead and my mom got these really cool cookies let me show you they're black and white cookies from Trader Joe's highly recommend okay i had to send an email because i don't know if i told you guys i'm getting my first covid shot tomorrow tomorrow's friday and i'm going to be missing a biology test and i the thing is we have spring break the week after so i don't want to like come back from break and do the test so i asked my teacher if i could take it like like right now next period oh why did it do that <laughs> so i asked her if i could take it next period so i'm gonna see if she responds i feel bad because i sent it kind of late but i totally forgot so hopefully she sees that if she has a fourth period i'm gonna try to take it then um otherwise i should try to do work let me get water because i want to procrastinate a little bit more you guys my teacher is awesome i got an email from her it is currently like 3 30 oh my god okay so and i just saw it and she gave me the access code so i'm gonna go ahead and take it and obviously i can't really film me taking a test sorry this angle is horrible i'm trying to sign into my laptop obviously i can't film while i'm taking a test so i will see you guys hopefully after i finish and do well okay here it is i'm procrastinating taking it but might as well do it we're not talking about that anyways <laughs> um time it's like 5 30 because i took a break because i was like eh. so i'm gonna do a little bit of notes because my goal is to actually finish those notes today and then go for a walk because i need to get out of the house because i'm going insane spoiler alert i did not finish those notes friday night <laughs>